Hi, Tim from Kingdom Sewing Center, Simi Valley, California. We're going to talk about the Janome 4120 QDC. This is their purple version. Um, some key highlights on the machine. You have a pressure foot adjust, so you need that pressure down when you're sewing five pounds of fabric pulling this way or the opposite side. So we need to um, sew a consistent stitch length and we need that pressure there. But if you're gonna be doing applique or a lot of pivoting or turning, then you could back off the pressure. So that would be six grams of pressure, five or four, wherever you're setting at. Most time you're on six, but you do have that capability there. Next, another key feature is this presser foot. We have down and up, but we also have the super high up that's going five eighths of an inch off of the surface to get a, over a binding or a thick blanket or anything like that. If you look underneath there, you see seven feed dogs, two in the front, three in the back, one on the left and one on the right. So great feature there. A lot of times when you have a thick quilt in here, I forget to lower the presser foot and most machines will sew and jam. But this machine, when I step on the foot control with the presser foot up, it's gonna beep at you and not allow you to um, sew. So great safety feature on that machine there. If we kind of come up to the top here, you, you could see we have a lot of uh, straight stitch capability. We have left position, right, with quarter inch. We could adjust our needle position a um, half of a millimeter at a time. This is a seven millimeter machine, so we have um, 14 or 15 adjustments there. I think the center is one is an extra one. Uh, but on the back here, we also have fonts um, and numbers, so you could name and date something as well. If you don't like this, you just want to use the straight stitch all the time, then simply take it off there. If you look at this thread post right here, one of the reasons why we we're, we really like the 4120 is we've sold a lot of the 3160 QDCs. And if you look where the thread post is over here, it's kind of pointed up. And the thread sometimes gets caught there a lot of times when you're winding a bobbin. But if you look on this one, it's straight across. Um, huge improvement on the 4120 there. Um, just so some other features here that uh, you don't hear too much about, but again, is a great feature. If I unplug the foot control, I could use my start stop button. And normally when you touch that, it takes off at whatever speed you have it set at. And then when it comes to the end, it's coming at that speed there. But this machine has a great feature called a slow start and a slow stop. So I'm gonna hold the button down and it will so slow to, till I'm out of a critical area. And then you let off and you'll see it pick up speed. But when I get to a, another critical area on stopping, I could hold that button down and then slowly go into a spot where I wanna stop exactly on a stitch right there. Great feature, because that's called slow start, slow stop there. Uh, we always have a needle up or needle down. Um, at any time, you could touch that button and it will half cycle. If I touch it lightly, you could uh, um, see it will do a single stitch there. So touching the foot control one time, we'll do a single stitch. Touching the needle up, needle down, we'll do a half stitch there. This machine has another great feature, thread cutter. So we've cut the top and bottom thread and carried both tails to the bottom of the fabric. So a clean finish on the, on the top there. So really nice lighting here. You could see, I could see right down here and around. Beautiful needle threader. So we're all going blind, that really helps out there. So that is the 4120. Uh, come into Kingdom or give us a call. We have great pricing.